Russians like big gold and milk crime and fall colors we can find. So if you want the latest and want to keep up with CC peeps, put on your pajamas, tune into Shashamli drama. We can give you useful information to get you through your education, help with degree planning for academic advising and if writing essays gives you chills come to academic skills you can come in your pajamas just don't forget to tune in to Shamley Drama it's Shamley Before we start, we would like to respectfully acknowledge that we are occupying land in Peterborough, Nogojinawang on the Treaty 20 territory and traditional territory of the Michisagi and Anishinaabeg. This land is associated with the Williams Treaty. We offer our gratitude to the First Nations for their care for and teachings about our earth and our relations. May we honor those teachings. Hi everyone, this is your Champlain College Ambassadors, Chloe and Chloe, and you are listening to Shamley Drama, broadcasting for the facilities of CFFF Trent Radio at 92.7 FM in Peterborough, Nogojidawang, Canada. All right, so to start, I just want to talk about how amazing Head of the Trent was. Uh, did you get to see some of the events? Yes, the novice rowing was super fun to watch and cheer on. Gotta support those Trent athletes. Definitely, of course. Speaking of novice, the film was phenomenal, wasn't it? Yes. I think every Trent student should watch the novice um, so they can better appreciate our student athletes. It also showcases some really great um, spaces within the colleges and within the university itself. Um, so yeah, it's a really awesome film. Yeah, I totally agree. I hope everyone else had a safe and especially fun Head of the Trent weekend. Um, now we're going to move on to some things you can look forward to in the future. Awesome. Uh, yes, first we have the return of our ever so popular Champlain College Bingo! Yes! Oh, my favorite. Bingo is always so much fun. Our first event this for Bingo will be this Tuesday, October 4th from 6 to 7 p.m. in the Great Hall hosted by yours truly. Um, so come grab dinner from the calf, sit in the Great Hall, and have a chance to win one of so many prizes, including a bunch of college swag. Yes, the bingo is going to be completely free for any students who want to participate. Uh, so definitely come out, and trust me, these prizes are going to be great. I know I love my Champlain College swag, um, and so if you come, you'll have a chance to win some. Yeah, and there will be multiple winners, so make sure you register through the link in our bio on Instagram at Champlain College, or you can register through the Student Experience Portal. And on the topic of bingo, Discover Peterborough Bingo is running October 7th. Make sure to stop by the Champlain College office, pick up your bingo card, and fill it out for a chance to win $500. This is also a great opportunity to explore downtown Peterborough and learn more about what the Peterborough small businesses have to offer. Next up this week is the Fellows Talks event, uh, and the Fellows Talks is an opportunity to get to know professors who are fellows of Champlain College. This seminar series will highlight and explain the areas of research of professors who are affiliated with Champlain College. Also this week, we have the Champlain Cabinet Elections. Have you seen the posters all around Champlain of our lovely candidates? Well, now's the time to put those advertising into action. Keep an eye on your weekly newsletter for the link to vote. Voting is extremely important, even if the candidates have no one running against them, they will still need a certain number of votes to enter office. Yes, please, 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 please vote. And also make sure you're making an informed decision while you're voting. All the candidates will have their platforms on the voting um, profile so you can read what they're um, running for. If elected, these candidates will be a voice for you and we will be making decisions on your behalf, so make sure your voice is heard through your vote. Voting will run from October 3rd to October 7th, so don't miss it. Yes, and you should be receiving an email with the link to vote from our college principal, Tina Fridgen. Uh, so just keep a lookout for an email from her and that's how you'll be able to vote in this uh, cabinet election. 
Um, and I know a lot of people have been asking when you can get one of our lovely champagne scarves. Don't worry, you did not miss it. Our traditional scarving ceremony is held at the beginning of November. Yes, so make sure you keep an eye out in our weekly newsletter or by listening to the show uh, for information on how you can nominate or be nominated to receive your scarf. To be nominated to receive one of our scarves, you have to exhibit some of our college qualities. Um, these qualities are in the form of the acronym DARE, Discover, Adventure, Reflect, and Engage. So have you dared to be Champlain? And don't worry, even by just listening to the show, you've earned your stripes and you can earn a scarf. Alright, so today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite things on campus, the college spaces. As you may know, each of the five colleges at Trent has their own unique space on campus for students to go to gather, socialize, or study. We will be going over all the spaces Champlain has to offer, as well as highlighting a special space from each of the co other colleges with the help of their college ambassadors. All right, the first space that we're gonna talk about is the junior common room, commonly referred to as the JCR. It's a great room for on-campus students to hang out in. It's a great space for resident students to go in if they're sick of hanging out in their room or their common spaces within their towers. Uh, it's not a designated quiet study space, so feel free to have some fun in there. You can get a little bit loud. However, if you do see someone studying in there, please keep the noise to a respectable volume just to respect their space as well. Uh, the JCR contains loads of board games for students to use, as well as a foosball table. So if you're looking to have a game night, JCR is a great place to start. It also has a TV and a huge comfy couch, which is great for movie nights with friends. I know in my first year, I was in there pretty much every night watching movie with my friends. Um, so sorry to everyone else who wanted to use that space. We were in there. Um, the newest addition to the JCR is also our pool table, which I'm super excited, excited about. I've been wanting a pool table in there forever, and now we are going to be getting the pool table that was previously in the Kaylee, and the Kaylee is going to be getting a new pool table. Uh, the JCR also has an accessible and gender neutral bathroom located inside, which is super convenient because it's kind of far away from all of the other uh, Champlain College amenities and rooms. Next, we're going to be exploring the CLLC, or the Champlain Living Learning Commons. This is our quieter space offered here in Champlain, and it's located above the Season Spoon with a beautiful view of our Great Hall and Quad. The CLLC is a great place to go and study. There are many outlets and tables available, as well as some very comfortable red couches. This room also offers quiet study time, and because of this, the CLLC is a great place to go if you need to buckle down and get things done. The CLLC also has a projector and a screen that anyone can use. You can book this room for club meetings or even through this or, or events through the student experience portal. I know I didn't discover this room until the end of my first year and I wish I had discovered it sooner because it's such a quiet and cozy place to study. Next up is the Season Spoon. It is an incredibly delicious non-profit restaurant located right here in Chamberlain College. They purchase their ingredients and produce locally and even grow some of it here on campus in the rooftop gardens and in the the Spoon has a focus on sustainability and providing good, healthy, vegetarian food. So if anyone is vegetarian, this is a great place to get food on campus. In addition to serving food, The Spoon also hosts several workshops, seminars, and community activities throughout the year. Uh, the Season Spoon has a dining room, which also serves as the Champlain Senior Common Room. It has lots of seating and a spectacular view of the river, and of course it always smells like a home-cooked meal in there. Another great space we have here at Champlain is our one and only on-campus pub called the Cayley. Yes, it's called the Cayley, not the Seely. Uh, so this is an amazing place to go, grab a drink if you're of age, or just grab a nice meal, and your Trent card does work at the Cayley, so you can get anything from their menu on your meal plan. This is a great space to just socialize, they host lots of events, and have a lot of great pub food. Trust me when I say it's a really amazing place to go it, because my mom did work there when she went to Trent. Next up, we have the fireplace room or the fireplace lounge. This is my personal favorite space in Champlain, located beside the cabinet and college offices. The fireplace room is a small, cozy room that is also home to Arcane Packs. This room is frequented by many cabinet members and orientation leaders and is a hidden gem for studying or relaxing between classes. The chairs are also super comfortable and the lighting isn't too harsh, which makes it a very nice place to relax in. There are also small pieces of wood under the main table that you can use to put on your chair and create a DIY desk. These small tables are perfect for catching up on some work or even watching some Netflix in your downtime. 
Many people don't know about the secret door leading to the bridge that you can access through this room. Make sure to fully explore our Champlain Halls to discover all the secret doors and passageways. All right, located in Champlain College, we also have the Morton Reading Room. If you need a room to host a meeting or get together with a group to practice a presentation, check out the Morton Reading Room that's located on the third floor of Champlain College. It's right beside the Trent International offices, so it's fairly easy to find. This room doubles as a classroom, so it's not available for booking or to the public at, until after 4 p.m. every day. Um, but this is the room where we record the one and only Shamley Drama Show, so that's where we're broadcasting to you from today. Yes, so you probably won't have access to it on Wednesday evenings as well, because we'll be here. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, is our Great Hall. So this is probably Champlain's most popular and well-known space. It's known for its beautiful castle-like architecture designed by Ron Tom. If you're a Harry Potter fan, I'm sure you'll agree that the Great Hall has many similarities to the Hogwarts. Although the Great Hall is a dining hall, students use it for much more than eating. Throughout the week, you'll often see students studying or hanging out with friends in this gorgeous space. The Great Hall is also used to host a variety of different events throughout the year, including, but not limited to, the Earn Your Stripes ceremony, Great Hall Bingo, which is coming up soon, and the Trent School of Environment Breach of the Peak Trivia Night. Hi everyone, in case you're just tuning in, this is your Champlain College Ambassadors Chloe and Chloe, and you're listening to Shamley Drama, broadcasting through the facilities of CFFF Trent Radio at 92.7 FM in Peterborough, Nagoja Duong, Canada. As much as our spaces here in Champlain are so nice, if you aren't feeling the vibe or simply need a change of scenery, you are more than welcome to enjoy the spaces at any of the other four colleges. You do not have to be affiliated with a college to enjoy their space, so feel free to hang out with your friends from other colleges. To help us learn about these spaces, uh, we are so excited to hear from the other student ambassadors from other colleges to teach us more about their favorite space within their college and why they like it. First up, we have the Zosky Atrium. Located on the bottom floor of Zosky, you will find this beautiful, well-lit atrium. There are lots of comfy couches or tables to sit at to study or to just chill with your friends. The best part? It's home to an amazing cafe. This place is great to hang out between classes or grab a coffee on the go. Make sure you check it out next time you're in Zosky. Next, we have the Autonomy College Quad. Just head downstairs when you enter through the doors for the Trent School of Education and you'll find this beautiful secluded space. If you're looking for a peaceful outdoor area to study or read a book, the Autonomy Quad is perfect for you. This space is also home to one of the teepees at Trent. However, this TP is reserved only for sacred practices or ceremonies, so please make sure to be respectful. If you want to go throw a football, relax under a tree, or get some fresh air, make sure to check out this space. Lady Eaton College, or LEC, is famous for having one of the best spots on campus, the pit. Located beside the cafeteria, with a beautiful view of the LEC quad, the pit is a cozy space to catch up on readings or chill with some friends. The pit is lined with super comfy couches and the soft lighting makes great ambiance for students to study or relax. You can also close the curtains and the pit is transformed into an amazing theater for watching movies. Lots of events are held in this space because of how cozy and accommodating it is. You can book this space for your own events or to run club meetings. It is called the pit because it resembles a giant hole in the ground surrounded by walls of couches and chairs. It has a very, very friendly and welcoming atmosphere and definitely lives up to the hype. Make sure you check out the pit before your time at Trent is over. Last, but definitely not least, we have Trail. It is no doubt that the entirety of the Trail campus is absolutely gorgeous. Located in downtown Peterborough, the Trail is made up of lots of old houses and historical buildings. But these buildings are not just beautiful on the outside. Because of this, the Trail Junior Common Room brings a unique charm to the Trent study spaces. Located in Scott House, Trail's JCR gives off a cozy and historic vibe. It can almost feel unreal being in this luxurious room. There are lots of super comfy couches and chairs to relax in, chat with friends, or catch up on lectures. The Trail JCR also has a piano for anyone to use. The room is lined with books and gorgeous decor. My favorite part is the huge windows that provide such nice lighting to the room. Lots of people don't know about this hidden gem, so make sure you stop by and don't let it go unnoticed. Thank you so, so much to all the other colleges and their ambassadors for sharing their college spaces. 
They all look so fun and welcoming, and I will definitely be checking them out next time I need a change of scenery. Hi guys, uh, my name's Eric. I'm a fourth year student in biology, and I'm obviously a Champlain student as well. Um, my favorite space in Champlain College on campus would definitely have to be the Season Spoon, personally, um, just because the vibes in there are immaculate. Um, it's very peaceful, kind of a nice, Nice little setting and uh, it's kind of tucked away so people don't really bother you. You can get really cheap and healthy food there. Um, yeah, it's just lovely overall to hang out and you often see a lot of people you know, so I would recommend it. Hey Champlainers, my name is Campbell Deck. I'm a fourth year political science student and my favorite places to hang out in Champlain are the fireplace room because it's close to PAX and it's nice and comfy. Uh, hello, my name is Drew. Uh, I'm a fourth year Champlain student studying anthropology and philosophy. And my favorite place to hang out on campus is probably the dining hall because I really enjoy eating food. Hi, my name is China, and I'm a third year business major with a double minor in computer science and data analytics. And my favorite place to study on campus is second floor of the student center because I just love the natural light and I love seeing all the lovely faces that I know come through the student center. Hey everyone, my name is Emerson and I'm a fourth year Champlain student and I'm, <clears throat> and I'm studying social legal studies. Uh, my favorite spot uh, or place to study in Champlain is the CLC because it's very quiet. Um, I can get my work done, I'm allowed to focus and it's a, it's a calm and relaxing place and right, right below, right above the season spoon so I can get some food if I'm hungry. And yeah. Hi, my name is Micah. I'm a fourth year Indigenous Studies student at the Champlain College. And one of my favorite spots on campus happens to be the Drumlin. In my first year, I really loved it, especially for early morning walks. If you don't know where it is, it's just right behind Lady in College. And there's really nice walking trails, especially during the fall and in the winter. I find it's when it's most beautiful. Those fall colors really shine through with all the leaves and the trees. Um, it's this great spot to just hang out, even have a picnic with your friends. Um, it's definitely one of the most serene spots on campus, I think. Before we go, we just want to give a few reminders of events this week. Bingo in the Great Hall is this Tuesday from 6 to 7. Also this week is our Fellows Talks. Keep an eye on our Instagram for um, more updates about when you can catch this event. Uh, we'll be posting, uh, so yeah, just keep an eye on that. And make sure you tune in next week to discover more about Champlain. And please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Our question for you guys this week will be, what is your favorite space within your college? Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this has been your Champlain College Ambassadors, Chloe and Chloe, and you're listening to Shamley Drama, broadcasting through the facilities of CFFF Trek Radio at 92.7 FM in Peterborough, Nogodjawang, Canada. Shall we?